Today we're heading back to Texas. We have been on the road for several months and have visited several states during our journey. The most beautiful state we stayed in was definitely West Virginia. It also had the most opportunities for motorcycle rides. We really enjoyed the beaches in Vero Beach, Florida and thought the North River Campground in North Carolina was the cleanest and neatest park we stayed in. It will take us several days to get back home, so we are staying at three different Harvest Host sites during our trip back to Texas. If you'd like to learn more about Harvest Host, there is a link in the description of this video. Traffic's not too bad this morning. We were going to leave at um, 6 in the morning, but we decided to wait till later. And it is almost 9 o'clock Eastern time made it to our first destination heading back to Texas. Kevin's back there. You want to talk about where we are? We're at the Park Place Drive-In. It's a Harvest Host in Marion, Virginia. It's a really nice spot. This is what it looks like. And that's where we're parked. We're parked way up high. <laughs> On the last row, we're headed down to go have some ice cream. Who remembers going to the drive-in movie theaters? <laughs> the only thing is they don't have the speakers that hook on your window, huh? No, you evidently you, you told me you have to dial into ninety-two point nine to hear the movie. Right. It's kept up really nice. Yes, well maintained. I guess they get quite a few people in there. There's a little sign, Park Thursday, Place Drive-In. They have mini golf, game room, and ice cream. Oh yeah, they are going to have Twister at 8.45 tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, me. oh, that got it all organized. Yeah. <laughs> this is really cool we get to watch a movie out the side of our RV see people are already starting to come in we've got the slide out our feet propped up eating popcorn and pretzels this is a great place and it's very big huge so um, big rigs can come in here and turn around and have plenty of room to park this is travel day number two we just left the movie theater or the drive-in theater and we're heading to Tennessee yep and Mark was gonna see I lady. just got a little lesson on the TSP TPMS TPMS <laughs> monitoring system for the tires so I know if they go off which tire is having an issue and um, it's a great tool to have because it has come in handy and I don't imagine I mean I don't understand how people ride and drive big rigs without tire monitoring system so if you don't have one you need to get one <laughs> this is 
our view this morning. It rained pretty much most of the night, off and on, and then it rained again this morning. But it stopped raining. For those of you who've never gone through a truck stop <laughs> to get gas, right along with us. You spoke too soon about the courteous driver. That's my hair look. Gorgeous. 3.30. Three eighty. Now I gotta pull it up so he can get death. Now we have to back up. Kevin went and did a courtesy knock and he wasn't in his rig. We got places to go. Circle around and go out. That's the way I had to go anyway. He's still there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he is. We made it to our last harvest hose for travel day number two, and we are at a winery. What's it called? Delmonico Winery. This is the front of it. I think and I said Bartlett, Tennessee earlier, but it's a Bristol. It looks like there's a neighborhood with the, the vines in the middle, which is a little different. Never seen that before beautiful though here Maybe that's the entrance over oh, there yeah so pretty del monaco wasn't hard to get into either This is going to be our sweet whisper peach. And then I think we want to order, um, she wants to order an uh, order of truffles and then huh? we'll do a chicken salad sandwich. One to share? Huh? One to share? Or yeah, just one. Yeah. Did good? you order the truffle? I did. The truffles and the. Oh, that's good. Now which one was that? This is a blueberry. Taste it. We said the sandwich, right? Chicken salad sandwich. What's that? Chicken salad sandwich, you said? Yes. This one is good. Is that what you want? Imagine y'all do weddings and stuff out here, don't you? Really? In, in November. Aww, the Christmas decorations up. Everything. 
And the weird thing about it is it was supposed to be outside, but then the temperature dropped and it was supposed to rain. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Because it was supposed to rain, we were like, oh, we're going to move it inside. It turns out it didn't rain. It started snowing. Oh, so wow. it snowed on our wedding, and all of our wedding pictures have snow in them. Oh. oh but that's kind of cool. Travel day number three. We just left the winery and heading back to Texas. Today will be a little over 470 miles to get back home. Huh? We'll be in North Little Rock. Tomorrow we go up into Oh, I thought we were going to go straight in today. Well, it's still almost 800 miles. My bad. until 1977 and then uh, they had a daycare until 1989 and then the, the nuns all retired to Fort Smith. It sat sort of empty, like the church used it for random things until uh, our foundation took over about 14 years ago uh, because they were going to tear down the property. 
that we stepped in and said, please don't do that. And yeah. it's just a lot of history. Like during World War One, it was a military hotel. Um, and I'm sorry, this needs to be too loud. So now we have uh, over 30 artists in the building, and uh, uh, our mission is to like save the property and promote arts and agriculture in our communities. Well, this is cool. It's, it's, it's really awesome. neat. It kind of sucks you in when you start volunteering. The, the property I bet. is beautiful. Oh, look, they have animals over there. Wow, they were going to tear it down. Imagine the amount of upkeep yeah. on this building. It's extensive. I don't know how they do it. They ought to do tours. They do. Oh, they do? Yeah, second Saturday of each month. This is a beautiful place. They do tours on the second Saturday of every month. I can't imagine what it costs to maintain this building. But I wanted to come down here and take a picture of the building from down here. They had 63 acres. They had more than that, but they sold off a bunch of it. Just beautiful. They do have someone that actually lives in the building. He's the one who maintains the property. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, wow. You know me, I'm always up for spooky. Looks like there's a bunch of candles and stuff. Bunch of little things down at the bottom. This is where you would normally, I guess, drive into, but of course we couldn't come through here because of the RV. It's just beautiful. Now we're walking back to the motorhome. I'm not going to walk the whole property. I'm tired. <laughs> and it's hot. Travel day four, leaving Arkansas, heading to Texas. Take the ramp on the left to I-40 East. Be aware of the two right lanes. We're in the Metroplex now. Traffic is starting to build up, getting ready to cross Lake Ray Hubbard. 